Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays, Paraplays Squad. And in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the settings and the way I set up squad now to make it more immersive for me. And this is not going to be ideal for everybody. I know a lot of new players, including myself sometimes, have a slight difficulty with target acquisition. And I think a lot of this will come, especially for the new players, it's just getting used to the skins and the character models. Like for instance on this one, sometimes when I come in I find I have to press the tab key just to remind myself what enemy I'm fighting against. And then looking at my own team's camo and getting used to it before I go out and start fighting the enemy. So as you can see on screen, I actually turn all the tags off. And we'll show you how to do that in a minute. So as you can see, this is what it looks like on screen without it. Very cinematic. And this is what it looks like with it on. And this is going to be personal preference for you. You don't have to do this, but I do this in every game now. It makes it more immersive for me. And the way to do this is really, really quite simple with the console. And I'll put that command on screen now so you know how to do it. But give it a go. See how it makes... I think it makes you a better player. Because... You really need to ID your targets before you pull the trigger, and this is what would happen in real life. You wouldn't just see somebody on the side of an hill and open up with a sword and blast them. You would actually identify your target before you shoot. So, try this. Turn off the tags. There is another command in there which is disable HUD. It doesn't seem to do anything for me. I wish there was a way to get rid of the compass and things at the bottom. And of course, you can always add the black bars just like this. We shall give your footage an even more of a cinematic feel and of course you can colour grade it and everything else like that. So let me know you what you think about doing this. I do this every time I come into the game now. It really does make the game more immersive and certainly more enjoyable for me anyway. Now, I noticed on the forums there was a couple of people complaining about patches and updates to the game. And before I get shot down in flames and get called a uh, a game fanboy, shall we say, people who know me in the community know I had my issues with the devs and the game. And I've put some of it out on the table. So, you know, I certainly am not an ass kicker for the game whatsoever. I have my own opinions and nobody else is going to change what I think. If the game was shit, I would tell you so. I think the game's fantastic. It's amazing. Yes, it's in an early state. But flipping it, I've enjoyed this game more than I did Battlefield 4. And I was, I'm a graphics whore and I was really, really, really looking forward to that game. It just died on me. I don't know what it was about that game. It just wasn't realistic enough. It was a little bit arcadey and it didn't keep my attention even though I love the destruction. Battlefield Bad Company 2 for me all day long. But anyway, I digress and I move on. Yeah, a few people complaining. Honestly, I out of all <clears throat> the history of this game, it used to be we would get the game once a week and I used to really, really look forward to it. And do you know what? Every time there's an update, that same feeling comes back again. I'm excited to jump into squad, see what's new and see it growing. Yeah, it may not be taking the huge strides that a lot of them were wanting. Vehicles, 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 50 kills. That's you've heard me pipe on about those many, many times. But I'd rather they take longer to do it and get it right. What's the point in them putting vehicles in, let's say, and they're jittering all over the place and flying up in the air, which I have seen some footage of that in, te in, in testing, and. What is that going to say to the people who are not clued up about squad who are just coming in? They're going to think this really really is pre-alpha. This is shit. I'm not buying this until it's ready. So it's got a negative effect. Can you imagine when the vehicles come in and the 50 cows and they work? They work and they do what they wanted. If you think about the vehicles, there's all the net code and everything else with 70 players running around. Then you've got damage states and everything else and the audio and the effects work on, on blowing them up. There's so much work involved, I don't think a lot of people do realise. And I'm basing this purely on me as a motion graphics artist, and I do 3D. Even the little tiny things I do are so time consuming, but having to do something as on a scale like this it must be just... Wah. So, I'm not a fanboy, but I do think you need to give the devs some slack on this. 
just let him do it, and we know it's going to be done right. And for people who say they haven't really done much, there's been a massive, since day one of a, being a backer, up to where we are now, you could say, well, it's still just a shoot with a few maps. Yeah, but the, the changes that have come in over that time period have been really quite huge. Even from prone being put in, and you were flying around on like a flying carpets, to stuff like that, to the audio, to the, the building of new fobs and areas and stuff. The, the game has changed a lot since day one. So come on, guys. Guys who are complaining, we know there are new features on the horizon. As you've seen the dev blogs, I'm not going to go over it again. So the future of Squad is very rosy, and as they've said again, 15 months, 18 months before it's even classed as even ready for main launch, really. So come on, let's stick with it. Anyway, I'll leave it there before you get bored to death of me waffling on with me squeaky voice because I've had my appendix out. So I'm a little bit rough sat here. But I want to jump in and play some more squad. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up and all that bollocks. I shall see you in game. Come and say hello to me if you want. I'll tell me to get fucked. Entirely up to you. <laughs> shut up, Pada. Yeah, I'll shut up. I'll see you in game. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.